Hello friends, I am Muhammad Rafiq. Welcome to my YouTube channel Rafiq Engineering Drawing. In this class, we will see the third model of projection of plane projections of plane inclined to both the planes. Okay. Before starting the video, as in earlier video, I have said that plane, if you are getting inclined to both the planes, there you need to see some categories such as edge is resting or corner is resting. This is one thing where they are resting in HP or in PVP. So in the previous videos we have covered edge resting as well as corner resting both the cases we have covered in with HP. Edge resting in HP was the first model, corner resting in the HP was the second model. Now this is the third model or third question where edge is resting in the VP or vertical plane. So let us see the question what they are saying. We have, a, we need to draw a projections of pentagon side of the pentagon or edge of the pentagon how much 30 mm so having one of its side in vp so side is resting in vp the side then surface of pentagon with respect to vp it is making 45 degree okay the edge by which it is resting in the vp is inclined at 60 degree to hp okay so let us see by imagining one pentagon like this so assume this is a pentagon of side 30 mm okay one of its edge or one of its sides take any one side one side is in the vp assume this is the vp and imaginary here as a horizontal plane one side of pentagon is in the vp like this okay inside the vp then its surface with respect to vp it is making some angle this is now parallel to vp this is now perpendicular to VP. The surface of pentagon is making 45 degree. Here is the angle 45 degree with respect to VP. Okay. Whereas this edge is resting in the VP. Till here we have understood the question. Now next the edge by which it is resting. By which edge it is resting? This edge. So this edge should be with respect to HP at 60 degree. Right now this edge you imagine as this pen. This edge. Okay. So now. If you see this pen with respect to HP it is perpendicular. If you rotate this one as a line with respect to HP it is parallel. Now with respect to HP it is inclined. So coming back to this the edge which is resting in the VP of the pentagon where surface is making 45 degree. This edge with respect to HP should be inclined like this or you can tilt the inclination in this direction. We have facility to tilt in both the direction in case of projection of planes. So in this direction we can tilt it. So this angle with respect to HP, how much it is? 60 degree. So let us try to solve this problem. Okay. As one more thing, as I said in the previous classes also, what is the assumption surface angle? How much it is given here? 45. Whatever may be the angle, given angle to be assumed a 0 degree. With respect to whichever plane it is given, with respect to HP or with respect to VP, doesn't matter. Here, with respect to VP, 45 is given. So, 45 surface angle, as soon as you are seeing that to be assumed 0 degree. And whenever you are seeing edge inclination with respect to HP or VP, doesn't matter. Edge inclination, how much here it is? 60 degree. That to be assumed 90 degree. So, what will happen? The final position of the pentagon, 45 degree surface and edge inclination with respect to HP 45 like this. So this is the final position of the pentagon from front view if you see it will look like this from top it will be having some other shape like this okay that we will see in the diagram. So surface angle 45 to what we need to assume we need to assume it as this is assumption 45 to be assumed 0 then 60 degree to be assumed to 90 degree. So 45 is 0 it will become like this. Now this 60 degree this is the angle with respect to HP it is 60 degree okay. Now that to be assumed 90 degree means the pentagon will become like this. Here we will be getting straight edge like this. So this is a front view wherever the true shape of the object is visible to you that view you need to do first. So this is a front view this is the shape of the pentagon. Top view will be one line if you see from the top it will be one line. So let us draw first step. XY line 
एंड वन मोर थिंग एज आई सेड यू एज रेस्टिंग मीन्स दिस इज द थिंग कॉर्नर रेस्टिंग मीन्स फर्स्ट शुड बी कॉर्नर ओके इन हेक्सागन प्रॉब्लम वी हैव सीन इंस्टेड ऑफ पेंटागन यू कैन पुट हेक्सागन आल्सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस आल्सो इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट हेक्सागन यू कैन पुट पेंटागन वर्ड आल्सो डजेंट मैटर एनी ऑब्जेक्ट सो नाउ दिस प्रॉब्लम इज एज रेस्टिंग एज रेस्टिंग मीन्स फर्स्ट एज यू शुड टेक इट हियर हाउ मच इट इज अबाउ एच पी इट इज नॉट गिवेन सो एनी वेयर वी कैन टेक दिस इज अन ऑफ द एज ऑफ द पेंटागन लाइक दिस वी आर टेकिंग ओके दिस पेंटागन वी हैव ड्रॉन लाइक दिस एज्यूम दिस इज ए डैश फ्रंट व्यू दिस वाई डैशेस विल कम बी डैश सी डैश डी डैश देन ई डैश साइड हाउ मच डायमेंशनिंग ऑल्सो वी नीड टू डू इट द साइड ऑफ पेंटागन इज थर्टी एम एम गिवेन इन द क्वेश्चन दिस इज ई डैश दिस इज ओवर फ्रंट व्यू टॉप व्यू विल बी वन लाइन एज इट इज इन द वी पी सो टॉप व्यू विल बी ऑन एक्स वाई लाइन इट सेल्फ सो लेट अस प्रोजेक्ट दिस the projectors should start from the corners or edges from of the object whereas this is called extension line horizontal lines are called extension line one or two mm gap with respect to object you can keep and extension line should be always perpendicular to the object to which we are doing the dimensioning whereas this is called dimensioning line followed by arrow heads that should be exactly parallel to the entity or the object to which we are going to do dimensions so let us first have the projectors like this so here we are getting the top view looking from top what comes first a comes first then comes e so a bracket e b bracket d so this b projector also we need to take it continuously b bracket d then e this is the top view so no dashes will come here for this now surface with respect to vp now we have assumed surface angle 45 to 0 edge angle 60 degree to 90 this is the assumption in every problem we will do in the previous video also i have said you so now when it comes to giving the original angles back to the question what first preference we will give we will give first preference to the surface so now surface angle here is 0 we will restore the original angle 45 okay first surface preference after that we will restore from 90 to original angle 60 degree so surface first edge later so surface angle from 0 to 45 we will give it like this it is now we need to make it it 45 degree like this so now if you see the top view one line will be there which is inclined like this so measure this length and redraw it here at what angle 45 degree assume this is up to this one this point is a bracket e this last end point c is here just by measurement and redrawing it at what angle 45 degree 45 then either measure this distance and mark it here from c or if you are measuring from a to this b distance then from a you can mark here so it will be around like this somewhere here okay then up to here now we have got all the points projected upward and from here take the projectors to the second front view like this the projectors has came now project this points upward means from here you need to take so if you are getting confused you can go with one by one also one by one means first a line then from here take a line like that also you can do and this line also either you want to erase erase it or you can continue up to certain distance doesn't matter so a and a this two goes and here is the a so this is a dash then comes b where is b here here is b here is b so this b 
goes like this and this B comes here. So this is B. Similarly, this C is here and this C comes like this. So like that all the points from here and here you need to match. So I will do it quickly. Join A, B, C, D, then one minute. D is here. Okay, D. This is D dash. This comes here. This is E. This is E dash is this point. Join this. Okay, now this is nothing. So this is how we have got. So in the top view, it is if surface in the front view is inclined. So in the top view, you will be see one line like this. Okay. So this is our second step. So see here in the 3D diagram also I have shown you. First step is like this inside the VP. Okay. Top view is falling here on XY line itself. And then surface is making 45 degree with respect to VP. So this top view has shifted here. The same thing with the same notations I have kept here. If you are unable to see this. A, B, C, D and or A dash, B dash, then you can refer to the diagrams, okay. Here, this is a top view, so dashes should not come. Now, third step, it is inclined 60 degree to HP. We have assumed it is 90 degree. From 90 degree, we will restore the angle to 60 degree. Now, 60 degree, you take it in this direction, 60, it's up to you. Or you can take 60 degree in this direction, it's up to you. As I earlier said, we have the provision or facility to take it in any direction. Assume this is 60 degree line. this diagram we need to shift it here at 60 degree okay so we will shift by enclosing this in a box like this now measure the dimensions of the box and shift the box here make sure the edge a e which is resting in the vp that should be exactly at 60 degree it should come here so box we will measure or anywhere you can keep that box with same dimensions So this is the box which I have transferred here. C is the midpoint in this length. So here at midpoint you will be getting C dash. Then measure this distance or this distance. You can mark like this or you can measure this. You can mark like this. This is B dash. Measure this and mark here. D dash. Measure this, this distance and mark here A. Measure this here to here and mark here. Got it? Same like previous hexagon problem. Join all the points. That's all. This is the front view. Now all the points will project it down. So it is here like this. Now this edge is at 60 degree like this in this way. Okay. You can see this structure. Now project all this. And from here, you need to take the projectors. A. Here, where is A? Here. So, this is point A. Then B. Where is B here? Here. Okay, this is B. C. And here is the C. Then D. Here is the D. Like that. One by one, you need to take it. E is on XY line itself. Here. Join all this. A to B, B to C, C to D, E and A. So this is how the problem is done. So if you have any doubts, 
please you can keep the comment i will reply you to your whatever doubts you have asked okay if you like the explanation please share this video with your friends please subscribe to the my channel okay thanks for watching everyone